and welcome to week 11. This is Lucmela Adams from Fashion Chalkboard. You're watching one tip of the series 52 weeks of fashion sketching in Adobe Illustrator. This week we're going to learn how to take a wonderful raincoat and make it more transparent. And what some of you might have experienced is that when you set the transparency that the whole coat becomes transparent. So how do we do it just right to where the inside the fill is transparent? but the outside stroke stays the same without making our files more heavy. So that's what I'm going to teach you guys. Remember that you can download the flat sketch in the free member area and the link is below the video in the description. Today is a really short, short tip. So let's get started. And how do we do this? I have a sketch here where the um, fill, which is actually a print is 100% opaque. So you could go to window and open up your transparency panel, right? And instinctively what we would do is just click on the piece and then just drop the transparency. So I've been working with 70% for this. And what happens is if we zoom in here, you can see how the outline becomes transparent as well. And then in the past, somebody might have copied, pasted to front and perhaps took the fill out of the second one and then make the top 100%. So then you're left with two of the same kind and that becomes really confusing. So let me show you another way. Under window, we have something called appearance and this little panel right here has some really valuable information and it also allows us to look at each of the appearances such as stroke and fill separately and therefore only apply opacity to the fill. So if I toggle down the fill option here and click on opacity, I can actually change this to maybe 70. That's what I had in mind right here, 70. And you can see how it didn't affect the opacity of the stroke. So once that's done, I can actually select all the other pieces that have the same print and just take my eyedropper tool and apply that same effect. So if I was to check out each one of these individually, you can see how the opacity of the stroke has not changed. Okay, so I hope this was a really helpful tip for you guys. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave me a comment. Um, I wanted it to be really quick and easy today. So hopefully you get to practice this. Maybe draw like a little flower petal, make the stroke really thick and beautiful in color and make the inside transparent. Try it out. See what you can do with it. Okay, follow me on Instagram. As always, like the video, subscribe to my channel. Hashtag flat sketch 52. Maybe there's somebody who wants to share their work. And also, let me know what you want to learn. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next week. Have a great time and thanks for watching. Bye bye.